We have one of the most powerful computers right at our fingertips. Actually, it's inside our head. That's right, it's our brain. Through an incredible network of about 100 billion cells called neurons that make approximately 100 trillion connections called synapses, our brain allows us to store years of memories and information, make decisions, and even see, taste, smell, and hear. Right now, billions of brain cells are rapidly moving information through your neurocircuitry, syncing that information with the sound you're hearing and the images you're seeing. But you're probably also thinking about a hundred other things too. Changing thoughts in a millisecond, like reminding yourself of something you have to do. It's truly astounding technology right between your ears. Finding the connections between neurons that make our brain work has until now been a mystery. With newly developed technology, scientists will eventually understand how these neural networks operate. By using magnetic resonance imaging, or MRI, we have some understanding of our brain structure at a macro scale. Think of an image of the United States. That's the whole brain. We can see the major highways between the states, just as we can see the major connections between the regions of the brain in an MRI. Biologists also have an understanding of how individual neurons work. This is the micro view like looking at a single street or alley. It's the middle view between macro and micro and the connections made between a large number of neurons that make up brain circuits that is still a mystery to us. We want to explore this view, like seeing a map of a large city and how all the roads, highways, byways, pathways, and streets interconnect. This new science of studying brain networks is called connectomics. The goal is to construct comprehensive wiring diagrams of the brain. The diagrams are called connectomes and are important to fully understand how our brains work. Discovering the detailed inner workings of our brain will lead to wondrous medical and technological breakthroughs. We'll have a much better understanding and possible treatments for brain trauma, schizophrenia, epilepsy, maybe even autism. But that's not all. The research may also help to develop smarter robots, computers, and software by imitating how the brain works. To develop the connectome mapping process, scientists have been working with small pieces of brain, less than a cubic millimeter. First, a small piece of brain is sliced using a diamond knife. Then, using electron microscopy, the slice is recorded as a very high resolution image. Finally, all of the images are combined into a single 3D cube for further study. Human visual analysis of these images is currently the most accurate method, but extremely slow. Here at the Johns Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory, we use computer vision algorithms to analyze brain images to find synapses. The computer analysis is extremely fast. The only problem is that the current algorithm makes mistakes. That's where you come in. By combining both computer and human visual analysis, scientists can achieve rapid, highly accurate synapse detection. This STEM challenge, should you choose to accept it, requires you to become familiar with brain images and understand basic neuroanatomy. You will analyze high-resolution images to find the synapses between neurons in a small region of brain. Using a web application developed at the Applied Physics Laboratory, you'll vote on whether you think the computer has labeled synapses correctly or not by choosing either correct, incorrect, or I'm not sure. You and your classmates will compete against other schools to accurately correct as many automated synapse detections as possible. This method, called crowdsourcing, will lead to new scientific discoveries while improving algorithms for more accurate synapse identification. All students who actively participate will have their schools referenced on the Open Connect Home Project website, and the winners will receive a trophy. But wait, there's more. Once the initial challenge has been completed, there is an optional second challenge to improve the automated synapse detection algorithm. For more information, please visit the website shown on the screen. The winning school will be acknowledged on the JHU APL STEM website 
and at the Maryland Business Roundtable for Education's annual meeting. This challenge is an exciting way to assist the new science of Connectomics. Make a name for yourself and your school. Good luck.